Sahib Haha <laughs> says, what's the history of the violin? Is it somehow related, related to the Ravan Hatha? I am pretty sure that almost nobody in India knows what the Ravan Hatha is. The violin has a 500 year history. The earliest appearance of the violin or violin like bowed instruments in uh, in art, in, in paintings, etc. It, it goes back about 500 years at most. In Europe, the violin is a European instrument. Maybe it came via the Arabic or Islamic world, perhaps. But let's take a look at the Ravan Hatha. This is a very ancient bowed instrument, which is played in the, in the, in a, in the same way as the violin. But it's way more ancient than the violin. And you find it being used in the folk music of northern and western India. Typically, it is uh, Rajasthani musicians who play the Ravan Hatha and, and sing the folk songs and all that. Very melodious, very, very, very nice sounding instrument. It's a folk, it's it's termed as a folk instrument, the Ravan Hatha. And it is played in, a, in much the same way that you would play the violin. And it's clearly way more ancient than the violin. What does Wikipedia have to say about this? Let's see. It's an ancient bowed string instrument used in all the Indian subcontinent. It has been suggested as an ancestor of the violin. So what could have happened? We know that a thousand years ago, the, the Islamic world, the, the Turks and the Arabs, etc., they came to India seeking knowledge. They took out all the knowledge before destroying the Indian universities and libraries. And they would have also come across the Indian instruments, such as the Ravanatha. And they would have taken these instruments to the Arabic, Islamic, Turkic world, whatever. And... And what could have happened is that this would have this instrument would have then given rise to the various bowed instruments in the Arabic or Islamic world, like the rabab, etc. And eventually, this all made its way into Europe. These Islamic uh, scholars or translators, etc., travelers, they got access to India about a thousand years ago. So it makes sense that by the 11th or 12th century, these instruments were prevalent in the Islamic world in the form of the rabab or whatever they, they converted that into. And by the 15th, 16th century, these instruments had made their way into Europe and they became the ancestors of the violin. It is very plausible that this is what happened. But once again, our historians have not looked into this. So we don't know for sure. There is so much that our researchers, our historians can research, but they obstinately choose not to. They will simply keep on doing whatever the hell they've been doing for the past 70 years. I'm sure there are a few good ones, but I don't see any real research output about these topics that are so fascinating.